creemos que la manera de escalar esta práctica y que ya estamos trabajando en ello es vertical, es, es una estrategia vertical de escalar hacia arriba, buscar que se institucionalice un, un, eh, una visión de integración. Making it work is a methodology that was started by Handicap International quickly after the adoption of the Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities in 2006. It is a participatory approach for advocacy that draws primarily on the evidence of what has proven successful to provide solutions through the evidence of good practices. And for this we decided to prioritize an issue that is largely undocumented that is at the intersection between uh, gender and disability and that is um, the issue of preventing and responding to violence against women and girls with disabilities. Desde el Comité Técnico Asesor, que constituimos eh, personas de diferentes países, eh, traemos una experiencia en género y discapacidad a nivel internacional y con ello pues pretendemos apoyar a organizaciones que están promoviendo prácticas que consideramos buenas en la prevención y respuesta a la violencia en contra de mujeres y niñas con discapacidad. Bueno, la buena práctica en Uruguay tiene el nombre de Barriendo Barreras y ese es su objetivo, disminuir las barreras que encontramos las mujeres con discapacidad al momento de acceder a un servicio de salud sexual y reproductiva. Nuestra buena práctica en Colombia es que las mujeres y nuestra proyección del impacto es que las mujeres con discapacidad sean líderes en los temas de derechos sexuales y reproductivos. Before the practice, girls and women with disabilities were invisible to the Costa Rican governmental institutions. Uh, through the practice, we, um, we made it possible for those governmental institutions in disability and gender issues to start action and to protect, to pay attention to our human rights. And uh, nowadays, many things are different, have been changed. Bueno, mi buena práctica consiste en, en que en el empoderamiento de, de, de mujeres con discapacidad en México, apoyados por Disability Rights International, eh, por medio del apoyo entre pares, eh, el, es, ha sido un, un fortalecimiento en, en diferentes sentidos, como en, en, en fortalecimiento del liderazgo, en fortalecimiento de apoyo en, 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 en representaciones en diferentes foros, talleres, eventos. Disability Rights International is uh, doing a project in Guatemala to fight the institutionalization of women and girls with disabilities and uh, in institutions. We found high rates of abuse against this population, including uh, sexual abuse, physical abuse, forced sterilization, and inhuman and degrading treatment, and even torture. What uh, could be the strategies so that we move from a little small-scale uh, social innovation to something that will benefit uh, a broader range of women and girls with uh, disabilities? So that was the purpose for uh, this workshop in Bogota, uh, where we focused first on the Latin American good practices and gathered people uh, from Mexico, Colombia, Uruguay, Guatemala and Costa Rica uh, to discuss this notion of multiplier effect, of scaling strategies. What does it mean? How can you uh, expand from your social innovation to um, ensure more sustainable changes? Uh, to influence policy reform, for example, to ensure that what you have done in one particular village can be replicated in more villages, etc. It's been, I think, a, a unique experience in the sense that we've been trying to combine uh, two methods of uh, increasing the impact of the very uh, effective good practices that were discovered in the first phase uh, of, of the project. And so we've been looking at the theory of change uh, approach and also using the ExpandNet uh, model for, for scaling. So the scaling strategy that people use um, may reflect whether they want to um, increase things 
uh, horizontally in the sense of replicating them um, or whether they want to uh, increase things more vertically in, in the sense of producing structural change uh, in the way in which the institutions uh, within society work. There's also options of grafting uh, the particular intervention onto some larger initiative that's happening and there's also the possibility of spontaneous uh, scaling. So when you put all, all these things together, uh, what you really get is, is the particular innovation that people had initially, plus you get the ideas of how people want to scale up that intervention. And when you put those two together, you get the overall theory of change. And that's what we've been working on uh, developing uh, here in Bogota. En este taller ha sido muy grato participar porque hemos conceptualizado las experiencias y se ha evidenciado que necesitamos desprendernos de ellas para poder verlas en un contexto, analizar la situación en la que se desarrollan y despedirnos de ellas como protagónicas para insertarlas en un marco mayor de incidencia y transformación. Considero que el taller nos dio muchos, muchas herramientas para planear y programar eh, este paso siguiente que tenemos que dar de, con nuestra buena práctica y volverla un instrumento de cambio a nivel de nuestro país. Now I have many tools that can I uh, take home in order to continue with the good practice, to scale the good practice, which I really wanted and which I didn't know how to. So my experience of the workshop was really enriching because there was such a lively and effective participation of uh, women who gathered uh, in this workshop and uh, I, I think there was this experience of connecting the dots bringing uh, the experience of human rights global framework, for example with Sylvia Kwan from the CRPD committee who could bring this experience in the, in the discussions, but also uh, building on very concrete challenges that are uh, faced at the national level. Uh, and all this, trying to, to link this with a more theoretical uh, reflection on the steps towards scaling. Pues podemos visualizar nuestros proyectos como como grandes avances y, y, que, y que tienen un gran valor porque se pueden replicar en otros países las buenas prácticas y, y son de gran apoyo para, pues, para todos los países en representación mundialmente. It's been a great experience to learn more about what uh, other countries are doing to protect their women and girls with disabilities from violence, as well as on how to have more impact and how to plan uh, scaling up our practices. It's been a great learning experience. Creo que este taller fue muy bueno en el sentido de que las promotoras de esas prácticas pudieron ver esa poten potencialidad y la puedan luego eh, poner eh, con toda la fuerza posible para tener esos efectos multiplicadores y crecientes en el impacto que tienen ya de por sí sus prácticas. De aquí en adelante es imprescindible involucrar más actores en la estrategia, poder comprender cuál es la, el impacto final y cuáles serán los necesarios apoyos a recibir involucrando directamente a las mujeres con discapacidad en sus derechos sexuales y reproductivos y en su capacidad de decidir sobre la vida que quieren tener como niñas y mujeres en Uruguay. Lo que quiero hacer, o sea, desde mi perspectiva personal, es ir eh, y comentarle esto al equipo de trabajo del pilotaje eh, para que busquemos una estrategia de estructurar y simplificar nuestra buena práctica entre, entre todos. Lo otro es hacer una, una evaluación con el mismo equipo de cuáles son los, los elementos fundamentales de nuestra práctica para que empecemos con ellos a trascender en las instituciones y en la organización. Y el otro es evaluar el contexto para encontrar organizaciones aliadas y redes de apoyo que nos permitan eh, llevar a cabo nuestra práctica a nivel nacional. Definir muy bien el, el tema de, de hacia dónde queremos llevar nuestra buena práctica y lo otro, eh, los pasos precisos de análisis situacional, de a quiénes debemos 
eh, llegar más eh, juiciosamente, digamos, en, en términos de planeación, para poder hacer que la práctica tenga un impacto sistemático en el cambio social que queremos. Now, at the end of this workshop, I know exactly where we want to move forward, you know, with our horizons. Now I have a very clear idea that we want to impact, to reduce Uh, based gender violence against women with disabilities. We also want to uh, advocacy so that program services, information and emergency services uh, become available for women and girls with disabilities in Costa Rica. Many things that are available there, many tools there, are not accessible. Sentarnos a, a ver esta, esta ampliación de escala y poderla diversificar en puntos muy estratégicos para poderla llevar a cabo y construir esas rutas que nos lleven a, a mejores resultados. We are going to continue with uh, the institutionalization and promoting the right to community integration in Guatemala. We'll continue to focus on the psychiatric hospital where women are suffering systematic abuse, but we'll also now broaden our scope to Uh, girls and uh, in general children uh, in institutions. Uh, we believe that it's crucial that the right to community integration and to grow up in a family is respected and it's uh, guaranteed for every child uh, with and without a disability in Guatemala as well as for every adult detained in an institution.